Valentine's getting you down? An inspirational card to give to our friends that just says, you lift me up. Hello and welcome. I'm Stephanie and this is Deliberately Creative, where we are going to make some fun little cards to lift up our friends. And it can be for any time. You lift me up is one of those phrases that just says, I appreciate you. I'm happy you're here. So let's do that. I appreciate you and I'm happy that you're here too. I am going to use some Strathmore 140 pound watercolor card this time. So these are the Arteza Expert watercolor pencils. They did send them to me to do a video with. I've already done that video, but I'm going to do this video now because I'm enjoying these pencils. I have taped my watercolor card down to a piece of mat board. It happens to be inside of its plastic wrapper still, so I'm not messing up my mat board. I'm going to go in very lightly, use the Prussian blue first. We're going to get the background in, then we will lift out the area where the balloons are going to go just to lighten it a bit. And we will use colors that are darker than the sky. I'm making the top part of this sky a little bit heavier it looks like. I think we need to lighten that up a bit. And I'm skipping down. Whoa, that's really, I need to have this on an angle. Sorry about that. And now I'm putting some blue farther down. I'm going to take the magenta. Now in the pencil, the magenta looks very brown. It's not. It's actually a very lovely, bright, pinky color. But if you take it up here into that darker blue, it's going to deepen the tone up high. You do want to go all the way off the edge though. And I'm trying to give myself some bands of color. We're not going to use every color I had down here. I am taking the pumpkin orange. That's down here at the very bottom for the where the sun is. The sun is either a sunset or a sunrise. Don't know. <laughs> And I'm going to take that up into some of the red, that magenta, but I'm not going to mix it into the blue. And then I have this fluorescent yellow. It looks very green. The pencil itself looks green. And I just want to brighten up some of that orange down here at the very bottom. Let's go and Make sure we're all the way to the edge. Then we are going to take a water brush. This is just a plastic handle that is filled with water and it is a round tip on the end. And I'm going to get this paper wet up here at the top. And I'm going to make sure and be painterly with this. I want to end up with this make basically looking like stacked up clouds. On the watercolor paper, the pencils do dissolve a little bit better and become smoother than they do on the mixed media paper. And that's because watercolor paper actually has sizing in it that allows the paint to move around a little bit more. Oh, that's pretty. This is dawn. We had an amazing dawn here yesterday, a couple days ago. Oh my gosh. The clouds were stunning. I didn't see the dawn. I saw the photographs that people took. <laughs> now, make sure that you're working all the way off the edges of your paper onto the tape. And the reason why I say that is because you don't want to end up with one of those little spaces. See if I work like this and then I end up with this little hole right here. I don't want those little holes. This time of day doesn't have pure white clouds. So 
So I'm just working it across. I like the idea of the little balloons flying in the sky. Two of them together because you know, they could be tied together right below the edge of the card. You don't know. And that's why one of them is saying, you lift me up. And then we're just working our way down. That fluorescent yellow really brightens this up. I will not take this orange into the blue. I am going to work it all the way off the edge. I'm going to wipe this off. I just have a paper towel sitting in my lap. Make sure I get all the way out to the edges. This is not the inverted rainbow sky like I did for my trees, but you could put a tree right over the top of this if you wanted to, just like the one from the gradient sky video. And you can play with this to a certain extent. I'm not using a ton of water, but I am kind of pushing the color around. See how we're almost getting like a little landscape going down here. It's impressionistic, abstract, doesn't have to be anything. I am going to do some actual paintings with my watercolor pencils. I may have already done some actual painting with my watercolor pencils. You'll look up there at the iCard and you'll know what I've done with watercolor pencils. I'm going to dry this really quick. I'm just using a heat. I just realized I didn't lift out my, my balloon yet. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. You want to do the lifting out before or hit it with air, hot air. The purple's lifting out a little bit. You just don't want to scrub on this paper too much. So that is what we're doing to lift it out. Now we're going to dry it. <laughs> so now we'll put those balloons in. I want to use the crimson red. I think I'm going to take the crimson red on this balloon up here. Basically just drawing around that space that I cleared out. And if you look here, I'm leaving a bit of a rim. I did my outline. I'm leaving a rim. So that way I have a place for my colors to move. There we go. And you need the little, that little bit, the valve where you filled it. Easy peasy. They don't have to be perfect. I think I'm gonna go with this eggplant purple maybe? Ameth amethyst? Let's go with amethyst. Again, I'm just sort of going around in that area that I cleaned out. It's not a perfect circle. Maybe they're oval. This one is a little closer to us. There's the little valve. Then I'm going to go in and start putting in some color, leaving a bit of a rim. I am applying it a little bit harder. Not too hard. I'm not scribbling though. My pencil has gotten flat. Let's see. You can see that. It's not a it's I'm not using the sharp pointy edge. I'm sort of letting it flatten down. We will use a white pen to give us that final highlight. I want to round that out just a little bit. I do. There we go. Just 
just like that. Now we're going to take our water brush. I'm going to go in and do the purple balloon first, softening up that pigment on the inside, allowing it to move around a little bit. Not worrying about the highlight so much, but trying to keep it a little bit lighter near the area where I said the highlight was. This paint in these pencils does move around. They, many of these colors are more transparent. This purple is actually quite transparent, but it's working out for this project. There we go. Smooth it out. You don't want to overwork this paper. It will get pilly on you. It will start to pill up. Let's see. Taking the pen, the pencil, right in on top of that wet paper. I'm not doing it hard, but I'm letting the pencil itself sort of melt into the water. That's another technique that is fun to use. And you can also just take the tip of a brush onto the pencil and use it that way. So many techniques. Allowing that color to sort of feather around. And then it gets to a point where you say, you know what, I need to just stop messing with it. So I think I'm at that point. I need to stop messing with that one. So now we're going to go to the crimson red. And now I know I really want to get a little bit more color in here. But again, I'm not scribbling hard. I'm just allowing the pencil to move around on the top of the previous pencil. I know that sounds kind of weird, but once you start playing with it, you'll know what I'm, what I'm saying. <clears throat> all right. So these pencils and all of the materials I'm using are listed down below in the more information box. Make sure to check that out. If you are interested in these pencils, Arteza has given us a coupon code good for 10% off your entire purchase. So even on top of your sale prices, you can use these coupon, you can use the coupon code. I am going to dry. I'm going to take my pencils. I'm actually taking the magenta and I'm going to, I'm not going to get this part wet. I'm just using the magenta watercolor pencil to deepen up some tones in a couple spots. You'll find if you like using color pencils, sometimes watercolor pencils are smoother, softer, and you can use them just like regular uh, colored pencils. Sort of soften up that highlight edge. And the purple, I think I'm going to use the Prussian blue to deepen up my tones. Oh yeah, that's nice. Choosing a, choosing a color that is harmonious or analogous, one that's next to the base color is really helpful. Let's see, I haven't tried the white. And the white is pretty wimpy. Yeah, the white's pretty wimpy, but you know, white watercolor, that's kind of an oxymoron. If you want white, use gouache or use the pen. So I'm going to go in here. Put it in and then smudge it. 
if you put the pen down and then smudge it with your finger, it softens it, makes it so it doesn't look so glary. So even down here in the dark area, that's actually going to be a higher highlight. Down here. And then this up here is going to be a softer highlight. The sun is low. There we go. That's a little bright. Now, if you don't like it, scrape it off. I didn't like that one so much. There. I like that better. A little bit more here. You know, these are, these are shiny balloons. I want the shine. Then I am going to take a black pen. I'm going to make my strings. I'm going to say both strings are coming from right down here. So this string is pulling like that. And this string is coming like that. Then I do want to highlight that that's the little valve area, little tiny bit of pen line, not much, not much, doesn't require much. And I'm going to take and put a little bit of this white, take and put a little bit of white right along the string. highlights that string just a little bit. Sweet. And now we need to just put the you lift me up. Use your handwriting. It makes it more special. If you absolutely despise your handwriting, print out the words on your computer printer from a font that you like. Rub the back of it with chalk or graphite, your choice depending on what color your background is that you're putting it on. Lay it down and trace over it. Pull that off and then trace the outline that you just put down. Then you're using your hand still, but you have the training wheels of another person figuring out the font. It's okay. But you know, people really like to see your writing. Uh, I didn't believe that for the longest time. I did not believe it. I said, why should I bother doing that? It doesn't matter. And then I started giving some things to people and they would go bananas when they realized that it was hand-drawn, hand-written. It's, it's a thing people have. They, they like in this day and age to have that personal touch. You lift. And now I'm not even, I did not write this down on here. You saw me. I just started doing it. So it may, it may work. It may not, but you know what? It's still going to be me writing it and me setting it up for my friend. You lift me. And then I'm just thickening up edges where it looks like it would be fun to have a thickened edge. You don't have to do that. You could do just straight letters. Up. It's not perfect. And that's part of its charm. Really, it's part of its charm for it to not be perfect. And that's my story. And I'm sticking to it. You lift me up and an exclamation mark. 
I hope that you have been enjoying this project. If you are interested in more watercolor pencil, watercolor pens, please check the iCard up above. I have multiple playlists listed there. If you are interested in helping to support my channel, click on the links down below in the show more box. You'll find out about my Teespring shop where I have this fun, you fill me up with coffee t-shirt. We are ready to pull the tape off. There we go. There we go. It's going to give somebody a smile. You see how the background is showing through? It gives the balloons that transparent look. So go and make one of these cards for a friend. You know, easy to make somebody's day. Thank you. And remember, go out and do something creative. Take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. And I hope to see you back here again really soon. Bye-bye.